Hello everyone, this is Sirius Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary pacifist corner let's play. We continue for episode 7 from turn 75 in the summer season of 205. Now last episode we ended with our spy action and uh, we repeated it because it didn't get saved. Regardless, Zheng Jiang is only at one point. If she's not doing anything, she will drop below zero and leave because of lack of purpose. But it's highly likely that she gets uh, Simon because everyone else is on the field. Uh, we could grab her as uh, uh, another spy, but I prefer to keep a slot open. Who knows who might pop up. And she's not going to help that much until we get yet another spy position, which can happen next spring. So let's wait for that. In the meantime, we're back to developing and purchasing the land around us and the land that we have acquired. So. I think first we still focus on internal development, so if we could build stuff, we build stuff. That is going to have to wait. Um, and we want more prestige, obviously. And I think we ultimately have enough to get to the next rank, which will be Duke, uh, in terms of everything we have. Because if you think about it, we just need to double. And most of our uh, commanderies are very far from their final levels, and we can buy more land as well. So, not too difficult. I want to landlock her to return the favor for her shutting down our trade with the High Empire. So, we'll be making the payments. I believe, yes, it's going to be enough. That will do it. Did I shut down her trades? Or is she still having a land route? Hmm. Oh, she has this. She has Jiangling. And she got Tong. Yeah. But Tong doesn't connect back to her capital. We actually have her capital surrounded. On the south side. It's, it's probably this poor right here. I really wanted to cut off her trade. Oh well. We have to worry a little bit about our defenses because Mulu is coming. So we do want to set up an army here. My ideal setup would actually be to pull her because we want her poison volley. That's why we got her. Or war. Yujin is going to be tossed out because of relationship issues. I think Yujin ultimately will become one of our administrators. Nice defensive ability as well. Um, unique ability here. Which makes a lot of sense because the enemy will be stronger if they're attacking with a full army against a garrison. It, it will work out pretty nicely. We just have to love him up that way. Uh, she will not be able to join us until next turn. That's fine. Uh, not the T, the armor. We'll grab Kuron, who will lead. I should Si will follow. Okay, seems like Tai Shutsi is the problem. But um, we'll still put her in there. Because Poison Volley is just going to help us a ton. Uh, we traded away all our cash, so we're going to build out the force next turn anyways. I think what we will do is we traded away all those items. We still have this going for us. We're going with the elephant. Grab the garlic. And we'll... Make sure we take the other garlic away as well. So that we can give it to our Poison Volley Girl next turn. That's going to help with replenishment by a ton. I think we might actually give this up for the Water Clock in between turns as well. Next turn, when we actually need the replenishment. And we'll basically set up a force here to defend. Sounds very good. Um, we bought land, we 
Didn't check diplomacy. Did he improve? There is room to improve. He can get over 60 points and that could turn a little bit better. Everything else is good. Let's continue. We'll spend all the cash we have this turn on the army. Lots of characters. Lady Feng, Yuan Shu's wife. No items, though. Hmm. Not interested. All right. So let's get our units out here. Guess we hold on to that. Army somewhere over here. Ooh, do we want to go with the Thunder of Jian'an? Obviously pricier. Now if we look at the stats here, there is really not much improvement. Like we're looking at two extra ammo, 6% additional armor, 1% additional evasion, and 4k extra health. I don't think it's worth it. We just need the offensive power of the, you know, shot, not the defensive stats. Oh, hold on. There is something we could do. Uh, we've got the recruitment cost, so that's good. This probably needs a change. We could do retinue upkeep instead of swapping Taishu or we can pick up additional replenishment for only own retinue though, that's kind of weak. I will just split this. I don't think we have enough to get everyone units. So probably only two stacks, unless we trade for a little bit of cash, which can be done. We have food. And people happen to need food. Not rich. But willing to pay for food, I guess. All right, who else? He doesn't need food. He needs food. Ah, uh, he doesn't have cash though. Mm, it's not ideal. They always have cash, but um, I guess the food is still fine. One food is still 1.5 here, because it's not over 10 food. Maybe we can get like 500. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that actually. We are trading Tall Tall food. Okay, what about you? Ah, oh, he has so much food. We can only get 1.1 here. I'm just wondering if he's generous. Yeah, that's not... That's not gonna work. Maybe? Oh, he's very generous with us. Yeah, that's much better. Because we're basically getting 500 for one food. 4 k is enough. We only need about 3k to actually get this unit out. 
Yeah, this is our dream army. We don't even have this yet. Once we do, we're stacking... Yeah, 30% range armor piercing damage. A uh, little bit of base damage from her ability, which is not shared, but there is also the strategist who has um, this one here, 25% own retinue range damage, but that would be base damage, which doesn't affect it by too much. Like, honestly, maybe bandits, sentinels might even be better for range because of the ruthlessness, because we can stack another 30% range damage. Yeah, that's interesting, actually. Anyhow, pretty happy with his army. With all the bonus to replenishment. It's still not as high as I thought it would be. Right, we got 5% here, 5% here. That's 10% additional boost from characters. I guess I could, since I'm not going to march out, get another... 3% here. It's still three turns. Yeah, the local population is too low since we don't own the population center. We can't own that. We can't buy it. It's um, the capital. All right. Not enough money for the rest. Nothing really changed here. Let's proceed. I expect Mulu to show up somewhere closer and then probably be in strike range the turn after. We'll switch back to the book when we don't need the replenishment. Well, with the way the road is designed, you see the mountains? He has to curve out this way, so he definitely has more travel time. Uh, let's get deeper relationship with Ritsin here. Administrator level up. I still want the public water boost. Let's go down that way. I think private workshop first. And I want the city upgrade. I want this one. We can only afford this. That's a tax. Wow. It went down. Huh. I'm surprised. Oh, pretty good garrison here as well. That's good news for us. Alright, we can't build anything else. We checked everything. Let's go. Okay, so the war became a vassalization. That's good. Also, I was really out here vassalizing the world. And we're fine with that. Also, put an army here. Makes me feel safer, actually. The replenishment's fine. Switch back to the book. It's going to be one turn regardless now. Yep. We don't have an industrialist yet. Get it in here first. Hmm. Short on cash. Did we check this? I think we did. Maybe not. I don't remember seeing her last turn. And I think this is the turn he goes over... 60. You see the difference? Once you hit 60, that threshold, big change in opinions. It's only minus 2 now. Probably was minus 5 last turn, that's my guess. 
Okay, so it's not going to get per turn. Oh, he's not going to be that generous. We're going to hit that 1.7 pretty quick here. Oh, come on. Yeah, well, the Hun's never going to get that trade back. I wonder if I should just pull the plug on it and see if anyone else is have an opening. Because we're not going to get a land route to them. I don't even know where their new capital is. That's the thing. It's not anywhere here, so I can't like connect to a small piece of land to try to make it work. So unfortunately, we just have to cut this. No one's going to hate this. It's just life. Okay, so no one has an available one, but at least now we can check. We have an open assignment. Let's stick it in here. Yeah, our new girl could use some level up. I wonder if we should step out in camp, because we don't want to get sieged. Remember, we can't offensively counteract that. So we don't want to get caught in that situation. I assume he's going to come from the south. And, I mean, we don't see him here, right? So I don't know where he is. He was here last. And he disappeared for two turns now. Lady Drone's all the way up here. Oh, I want that so bad. We can't offensively declare war on them, so we're not at war with them. But, like, that's the weapon, man. That's the weapon. Hmm? Oh, I have their army clicked. Yeah, we'll encamp outside. Alrighty, let's continue. Ah, he showed up. Oh, he's beaten up. Um, he's on the run now. He has a backup army. How do I... What? I'm wondering what trait triggered this. Either Defiant or Fervilous. doesn't hurt us that badly. It's, it's all right. I'm just curious. So he's on the run. I want to get into his range. So we're going to use the backspace trick where we basically attack, but we don't cancel our movement right next to it. So we're stuck into each other's zone of control. So if he wants to leave, he has to fight us. Or if they drag him in, I don't know. If, I don't think we reinforce because we're not with them. Uh, I want my chance at the elephant. Yeah, he's at war with Lady Wu, so Lady Wu will attack him. We're not allies with Lady Wu, so we won't be able to jump in. Well, that's a real shame. We are going to get another spy position. I know there's a lot of things we need. There's a lot of buildings we need. Like, this is very key for us to get industrialist. And we should start working on corruption. There's a lot of things that we need to do. This, this. But spies are more fun. And we know where Zhong Jiang is. So we can get two more spy positions from this. This also relieve us from upgrading spies from the prestige level up. Let's go for it. That doesn't help us. I want both of these. This will give us more money, but the construction... I probably want the construction cost at this point. I don't care for either. Yeah, not being able to offensively fight. I mean, he's going to get his turn first. He's going to attack. And we he's on march. He can't run away. Oh, gosh, so disappointing. We build up this entire army to try to catch him. And Lady Wu does this to us. Well, guess what? We'll buy more of her land. As punishment. Um, probably want to get a building here before we upgrade that. Yeah, we're just stuck there. We don't have much money. So our desire to upgrade is not going to happen. 
Let's see where we can buy to get more trade deals. Like, how do we get land exposure to some of the landlocked factions that we can potentially trade with? So that's our capital right here, which is a port. Gives a lot of access. If we want to trade with... I mean, we landlock Liu Bei, but he still has no trade deals. We have direct linkage to Gong Sun Zan and Yuan Shao over here. We have Liu Dai touching us over here. Liu Chong has a port here, but I think it's blocked by Shallows. Um, I don't know. There's not any clear purchases. I mean, of all these land, I kind of want to buy this. It might be a very easy buy, too. He doesn't need food. He has 29 food. But he needs money. I'm sure I don't have to offer him very much to get it close to 15. Oh, yeah. Small factions. Beauty of small faction now. Of the cash we have, how much is it going to be worth to him? Oh, not enough. Uh, awkward. We'll come back when we have more cash on hand. Alright, let's see if Lady Wu wipes out that force. We should have put the map on top of there. I don't think we checked spies either. Oh, well, we know Zhongjian doesn't want to turn coat, so it's going to be a matter of chasing her out of the faction. And, oh, he survived. He su oh, he didn't go after him. He went after the new army. Wow, what a bro. He's stuck here with us. Like, he can figure it out. I'm going to be encamped. He's going to be in camp. He's bleeding out. I'm bleeding out. Well, actually, I'm not going to be bleeding out. I have I have supplies. I can't attack him. See, that's the funny thing. We can't have an offensive battle. All right. So we saved up so many points. Her direct target wore off, and she doesn't even want to get targeted. Everything wore off, so... Oh. We're going to have to do a... Discredit faction ourselves. Basically a reset, and then we grab her, because we know she's willing. And then we see if we can do anything with her. So she is the administrator of Nanhai, but we can't turn the commander over because it's the capital. I should run interference, to be honest. Yeah, so they can each do a discredit faction, which will lower everyone's by 20. And then we'll see if we can directly target her. No one else in the faction is crying, but that's the lowest we can do, right? Minus 20 for the whole faction. Yeah, that's pretty much where things will stay. No trade. I think we have the money to buy this now. Oh, did he make it pricier? I don't think it was, was it 21 last time? It's not working again. Yep, we gotta close something else. You can have whatever we have left, and we'll make this work for you. 
Perfect. Level four. Wonderful. How much are you charging for this so we can have a good idea? 32. We need items to make it work. And cash savings. All right, let's continue. Lulu stuck with us. Oh. Yes. But pay us better. Wow. 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 That's so much better. Didn't think we we're gonna make 16k out of Soto for that. I mean, she's right there. Now I kind of want to chase her down, but she's also super weak. She'll never attack us. That's the thing. It's also wipe her out before we get to. We'll stay here. We'll be in the staring contest for the gold elephant. We'll have our elephant perform mating calls. Oh no, she's returning. That's not what we wanted. Uh, but we can target her. We chase. Oh, come on. Because she's returning, that minus 10 has gone. Uh, she only stayed a little bit. Oh, we got a replacement. Right? I think. Not highest faction, right? Yep, 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 yep. This works. I mean, for a faction that doesn't have much, we are taking his characters left and right. We drop Jones down to the neck to zero. That's what we want to do, actually. And we're going to target the air for this. Well, Jones down's other bandit girl. They're together. But she's she's going to be gone. We're going to knock her out. See if she comes to our pool. That's the goal. Right. She's sitting nicely at zero. All right. Wei Yang can start thinking about coming back to us. We'll find a job for him. Probably an administrator job somewhere. Alright, let's save up for more land port. Uh, yeah, we probably want this. Yeah, that will save up for the land purchase. Now we are at war with her here. We could technically go siege that. No, but we're convinced we want, we want staring contest. I mean, there's no result here. The AI will never attack us. What if I delete all my units? That way he feels strong. Maybe he'll try to take me. I can beat him with just my generals. All right, let's do that. Let's try. Let's let's gotta try something before the Wu army come and wipe him out. All right, we're weak. Come fight, fight for your. I mean, they're they're super weak too, but got to try. They got to try. All right, I don't think we got anything else to be building. Nothing's changing here. I mean, technically, we could make our own vassal so that we could get a trade partner. There are some land that is not so lucrative for us anymore. Hmm. Maybe not. We don't own much. We still need the prestige. Eight trade is good enough. Let's continue. Come on, Mulu. Come on. Oh. That's very disappointing. Moment of truth. Ah, Yuan Xi. Uh, we were expecting Zheng Jiang. I mean, even this new spy is leaving. Zheng Jiang's still there. Because, okay. Because the new spy is still there. Mm. I 
don't know what exactly we can do to speed this process up. I mean, he did get a few more characters. So we could potentially turn those characters. Drop him to 30. See if he's willing to turn coat. Nope. All right, we got to make sure we check out the ones we got back and fire them because they are going to be affecting our faction with the same exact thing we used on them. Goodbye. Ah, we forgot these entirely. Okay. Our bandit girl will never be administrator, so she can be in one of these positions. Uh, I guess we shift them afterwards. We just want the bonus at this point for next spring. I mean, Wei Yen's coming back, so there's that. All right, Poyang definitely should have a build thing going on. Okay, maybe if this army comes, like, Duosi is very healthy. He can trigger this fight. And then maybe they'll come in as reinforcements. Yeah, we're, we're just praying at this point, honestly. That they would attack us. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We did get a silver armor. Oh, we also got the industry trait. Uh, not the title, because we have 20k at the beginning of the turn. Which means we can get attending secretary. Boom. Not bad. Um, I mean, our best commerce place is probably... Lin Hai. No, not true. Eh, there's just, there's not actually a really good commerce place. I don't know if I can get this now with what we have. Might not have enough. Oh, we also did get this item. I just don't know if we have enough. Oh, we do have, oh, actually we have tons of cash. What am I worried about? This is a small faction. Oh, uh, so close. Uh, there we go. Small factions, they just don't ask for much. Don't want that. There we go. I want to buy the rest of Nanhai. Maybe we could. But I like complete commanderies. Yujang looks really weird inside of us. Maybe we buy that. That's not very useful. Yeah. I mean... Legit, Nobody only has one trade route? Wow. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, I think that's that's it for the turn. We're waiting for spring again. Zheng Jiang will just not leave the faction. Okay. Ooh. I mean, no one really deserves it, but um, I kind of want to give it to Taishitsu. 
It should be a strategist, generic strategist combo, but the bonus is not great. We also have to craft Waking Dragon. Who has our lowest satisfaction, actually? Oh, we should give it to our wife. What am I doing? These are all future administrators. And we're we're still stuck here. Stalemate in the south. He's behind us. I mean, they're gonna come wipe this out if they don't oh he's recalled his generals too. Or oh well they're all dead. Never mind. No recall here. There's a chance he might attack us. But he's never gonna attack us. Ah, it's just odd. Ah, <gasps> Just because you have unique art. And we can finally see the base faction. Luger is still alive? Old age, man. Old age. Speaking of old age, he did pick up Huang Zhong from the Confederation, must head an army out, but then benched him. Interesting. We have Administrator of Xihe. Liu Bei has Xihe. What? If we can get him to flip. And give us that commandery. That's a nice trade with the rest of the, you know, source of the Yellow River. This must be Donglai. We want that as well. We also want Zhang Hong. Nan. Uh, does Liu Bei have? Wait. Oh, right. Confederated Liu Biao. That would make sense. Nanyang. I was like, there's nothing that starts with none over here. Um, you don't need to do anything for us, I think. Well, the minister to targeting. Ooh. Death of a friend who died. I want Sihe more. Just because it opens up new trade possibilities for us in the north. And also more land purchase in the north. But it does put us closer to Gondu, so that's dangerous per, per se. Nayang, mm. Nayang's not terrible, because then we can buy land this way. Fifty-seven. They're the same. Liang Xing is a Western warlord. It's gonna be fine. I need this spot to be opened up. We're gonna get the. F spy reforms going forward as well. I think espionage is going to be our new way to gain land. Wait, does that help the faction? Yeah, plus two public order. Local force Dorsa's army. Should be plus 11 normally. We could raise tax by one now without really affecting us. Might as well min-max this. There's no there's no loss here. Like this faction support will erase itself. And this local force will erase itself. It'll be both positive. Uh, assuming Dosa's army, you know, eventually leaves. Which I'm sure he will. We got the gold, but we can't really yeah, we're not trading that away. 18k, but nothing to build. We could rush some buildings as well, but there's a cap by the reform that we currently have, so there's not really a big desire there. Did, did she wipe out Mulu? Ghost is fighting us. Where's Mulu? Oh, Mulu's still on the map. But you got beaten. Ah, we just didn't get a chance to get in there. <gasps> we can pull off a heroic victory and potentially take the elephant here. Let's do it. Now the thing is, he's very high level, so the capture rate can't be that high, but um, 
Anything more than zero is fine. And we finally get a fight. Defensive fights are so hard to get. Oh, we get towers? Oh, they're doomed. We have to be careful, though. There's a chance we could rout and uh, lose morale and lose this fight by taking too much damage. Army loss is very easy with only three generals. And he has a lot of invisible units. Um, I guess ideally we want to split this off. Like, we don't want everyone to be micro together. Like, we want her to go out first and perhaps just, you know, pepper them with a little bit of poison volley. We obviously don't want to duel. What's this? Huh, interesting. We'll probably have to shotgun him with the Hail of Arrows to kill him. First, we want to find all those invisible units. And give them a taste of... Okay, we're getting hit with poison as well. Give them a taste of this. And then get out. It's not fun. They shoot us because we don't have any retinue. This forest is fun. Let me get in this forest too. You can stay in the middle. Oh, we have the elephant. Look at this. Coron's having the best time of his life. We're in the south. We're riding elephants. This guy has an elephant too. We can't see it. The camera's too far for battle realism. I don't want to shoot him in the forest. Let me see if I can draw him out by charging over here. Are they just trying to meet together somewhere here? That's the feeling right now. Uh, we don't want them to bounce back. Whoosh. Okay, so he's getting attacked a little. They can take our fort. We'll fight in the open where our poison volley would make more sense. Oh! The enemy horses are faster! They have relationships, don't they? Oh! Oh! The elephant Coral got the kill without even trying. Oh, maybe the towers. Maybe it's not Coral. We can't catch her. Chasing the tail. Oh, elephant versus elephant. That's that's really what I want to see. Oh, he one shot us. He one shot us. Wow. I mean, the gold elephant has insane damage, especially after the fallen Oathorn effect. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. The tower's gonna kill him. He got slowed from this as well. Oh, slow attack rate, I guess. Stop being so angry. Come back. Come back. It's fine. It's fine. It's just Coral. Yeah, Coral had like less than 10k health. So, two hits from Wulu ends him. Okay, so I want her to route away, that's fine. Come back, come back, come back. Man, elephant on elephant crime. We probably don't even need to waste this, but might as well. Six volleys combined. And the tower is probably gonna wipe him out. But just in case. We'll guide him to chase over here. Yep, that way he gets showered every time. Wow! Oh, only 4k damage? Alright, let's kill him. But yeah, all that damage we see are on the elephant. Do we keep- I guess it doesn't matter if we keep on the map or not. We'll never offensively attack him. So might as well just, yeah. Bring the beast down. 
Alright, we'll split on two sides. There's still some invisible troops that we need to reveal. Oh, we got a timer on this. Let's splash this first. Oh, I, I think I see some units there. Seven seconds. Ow! 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 Wait, what happened? He never shot. It went on cooldown. Oh, there we go. Guess it was just delayed. We don't need to risk it in a duel. We want them to be firing at me because the towers see them only when they're firing. And we can actually kite it out if we just zigzag. No, 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 don't stop firing, don't stop firing. Nope. Don't even think about it. Got two more volleys. Okay. Army loss. Um, I think we'll chase these guys. They're quite annoying. Duosu can get out. No problem. Man, I can't believe Coral went down. He was having so much fun. Well, at least the poor beast will be alive. And we got a heroic, which is the highest chance you can have for capture rate. Fingers crossed. Moment of truth. Oh, uh, Jay. I think we still kill him for this, though. There's not going to be a second chance. I wish he was willing to work for us. Burnt plus an elephant? Hmm. There will never be a spy for us. We can never offensively attack them. This is just execute, execute, execute. <sighs> We got one item at least. I wonder who the elephant's gonna go to. Maybe her. Zhengjiang came to our pool. Zhengjiang came to our pool. All right, that made up for not getting the elephant. She still has her axe. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. We have your brother. I mean, not technically in our faction right now, but essentially. Yeah, so Zhuge Dan just joined. He's usually super happy. There's a fondness there. I think we have to save up for the discredit faction, so we can't do anything now. I don't think there's a target for him now. We can come back. Join us. Actually, give us some empowered trade before you leave. We need to spend 2020. Okay, so first I probably have to bounce some points over. And then we can do one, two. I mean, we could just do interference for fun. I don't think it splashes to other factions, but um, 
It's points that's going to waste regardless. Yeah. Perfect. So he's coming back. We're saving for points. Yeah, discard a faction is probably what we need. So we got Wei Yan and Zheng Jiang on the same turn. She's not happy. No worries. No worries, girl. We're going to give you everything you would want. Get out. Or actually, let's not be mean. Um, Zheng Jiang, how would you like to be our chancellor? Sounds pretty good. Now, her background doesn't actually help us at all. So we're probably just going to keep that away. Maybe we can reroll her. Is that a possibility? No reroll. We just got her. No reroll. Really? Uh, it's kind of sad. Okay, I like the build up in Lin Hai. It's a very good commandery. I don't really care too much about this, but mess with him? Sure. Why not? There's no units. I... yeah. She can level up in the courts. <laughs> Look at the suggestion. It's like, ask the Grand Tutor, I think I should assign a senior mentor to tutor myself. Uh, we'll take a court character. We need more sentinels. I, I don't care for rebellions. I can just buy the land if I want. How are we going to use this, though? Maybe our wife? But then the discourse of the state would be better, right? Tough call. Yeah, keep moving that way. I think it's just one of those nice gold items to add to the collection without any real use for it, to be honest. Now, do we need the final spy position now that, you know, we cleaned up Zheng Jiang's situation? I mean, the Obey situation will require a lot of spies, but it might not work out for a while. We will be able to, you know, get dis a decreased cost for all un uh, current spies for both cover costs and undercover network costs. Cheaper upkeep. Definitely attractive. Alternatively, we can start going down this, but currently we still have buildings to build. It's not the end of the world. Let's just finish the spy tree. Right. We probably should have done the actions after that, in hindsight, but um, that's fine. Minor, minor issues. Um, diplomacy. Did we just meet, or is this another refresh deal type of thing? Oh, Han Swiss voice actor has a very deep voice. We definitely have a lot of food, that's good. He doesn't have a lot of food, which is also great. We have a bunch of money saved up. We can definitely look to expand through land purchases again. I think we want the small city first. Let's get another slot going. We can do a school. That'd be a nice little fourth building synergy there. Linhai has all the extra builds. Linhai, mm, I don't know if she should go tall or not. Our corruption is getting up there. Unless we start picking up, you know, corruption. Oh, it's fine. A lot of our income comes from tax, uh, from trade. So it's not coming from tax. So it's not something we have to worry about too much. Yeah, this is really painful to not be able to grab this. I mean, we got the spy thing done, so we'll be able to shift back soon. Which land do we want to buy? That is a new question. Well, I think this is rather cheap to buy it from him, and then this is rather cheap to buy it from these minor factions, essentially. So let's try that. Wow, that, that is cheap. 
It's less than 15. I can buy a straight with cash. He doesn't have any cash on him. Wow. So it's like for a beggar. 3,000 is a lot of money. Oh, we don't even... We don't need it to be um at 15. We need it to be at 12.9. Well, that's so cheap. We got a fishing port for that price. I mean, it's negatively impacting. His oh my god! He never, he never, he never converted this. No wonder why he. I mean, that was a straight up negative for him. Copper mine would be great for corruption reduction in the future. Oh, he has minus five food. Yeah, even that one's worth 1 1.5 to him. Oh, nailed it. Okay. It's hard to buy land from Lady Wool. That's the thing. Like, I can probably buy both of these food from Long Long before I can buy both of those. Uh, that might open up a trade possibility. Yes. Landlocked. Now we touch you. Well, in a nice way. Tal Tal probably messed that up. Yeah, he took a port. Anyways. Uh, do you have items? You might. No, you don't. Just want to check if he's been hoarding cash, as I suspected. Yep. Because he has one land, what's he going to build? So he's been hoarding that cash. And we'll take the cash. Perfect. Now, we probably want to cancel that. Because he's never going to get that port back. Lady Wu again. That's the last straw. We're going to landlock her. She doesn't want us to trade. Well, she's never going to trade again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so sorry. I love trading with you. But um, you lost your valuable land. He was the one providing us spice, which enabled the spice port. Now we just don't have that. I know we have no trade partner, but we can, we can create one. So to landlock her capital completely, we will need... Badong's lumberyard. It's not very valuable. Interesting. She has minus three food, so up to four would be pretty efficient here. And then I prefer cash payment if we can do it. Yep, we definitely can. How is her capital not landlocked? I am so confused. I'm looking at her again. Like, it must be saying that... Is there a crossing? There's no crossing here. The crossing's here, not here. So I need to buy none from her to landlock her. Ouch. Well... It's still doable, actually. What we need to do is just give her some land back elsewhere and then trade for those land back slowly afterwards. So, yeah. Like, say... We give you Northern Jian'an's... Lumberyard? Not giving her food, because that's difficult to get back. Those provide trade routes for us. So this might be a better option. Uh, we will still have to save money. We need more cash to boost it closer to 15. But it's tradable. I actually honestly don't know what we would do with it. I'm just mad at her for 
cutting off our trades that I want to cut off her trades. But as you can see, she's getting trade from that port. We'll get it eventually. I'll make it happen. I, I, I can't stand it right now. All right, we don't need to be here anymore. Nope, uh, I didn't hit. I didn't hit um, backspace fast enough. But this this works the same way. Like, there we go. Same same idea. I mean, he has decent items, but he's you know just not gonna get dragged in the right way. I think we made sure. Yep, I think everything's good. Our tax situation. Faction support boost that back to positive. Local force will go away soon. Lady will make sure of it. We have not been taxing here, which doesn't hurt us, but now we don't need to do that. We might as well just reset it. Huh. Tall Tall's army can drag us into that. Because he's our liege. Maton destroyed. Maybe Maton will be uh, Maton will be available in the pool. Got a level three character this time. Interesting. Nope. Don't see Maton and Maton yet, but they could still show up later. I think we're gonna end our episode here. Our immediate goal is to landlock Lady Wu. We are just bitter, and I will make it happen. Even though none doesn't really give us much, we'll still make it happen. It's level 7. Yeah, it's going to be a hard trade, but we'll try to push it through. And uh, cut off all her trades. Make her feel bad. The rest of the map look fine. Just look at how happy people are with us. Naman sad. Gundu is sad. Gundu is huge. I think Gondu killed Ma Teng. That's what happened. And um, that means we have a good chance to see him join. Maybe one of us down here. Uh, we have a lot of land. We're getting close to Duke, actually. Keep leveling up our settlements. We'll get there. And we did have a little success with spying, which we'll continue to do. We got a foot in the door in Liu Bei's faction. We'll try to make things happen. Um, he's coming back to us. So basically, we'll have... Yuanshang trying to grab us characters over here. It should be fun. Ooh, Zhuge Liang alongside Nanyang together. That means he fired whoever was the Nanyang administrator from before, and that person should be angry. We'll take a look to see if we can find that person. Isn't it Liang Xing? Did he just like straight up fire fire him? Because I don't see Liang Xing in his faction anymore. Wow, that was cruel. Anyways, we'll come back to this next time and continue to cover up our position in the south and um, try to hit Duke. So until then, bye!